What is going on everybody? Today I will be ranking 10 teams that I think will be sleeper teams to watch out for next season. In my opinion, every team I rank in this video will really have a chance to shock a lot of people next season. And I think these 10 teams could definitely over exceed expectations. But before we get into ranking these teams, let me remind you guys to like the video and also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. And if you guys love college football, then you will love this channel because we upload daily college football content and we basically cover everything on this channel. So definitely consider subscribing and also consider joining my Discord server down in the description below. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's start off at the bottom for my sleeper teams and at number 10, I have South Florida. The higher these teams are on the list, the more better I think they will be. And I think South Florida is definitely a team being slept on to possibly even win the American Conference and possibly even make the 12 team playoffs. I don't think they will be as good as the 9 teams that ranked above them, but I still think there's definitely a lot of potential for this team heading forward. In 2022, they went 1-11, but last season they took a major jump when they finished the season with a 7-6 record after beating Syracuse in their bowl game 45 to nothing. This team is definitely heading in the right direction, and next season could possibly be a 10-win season for South Florida. They are returning a bunch of talent and they're also returning a bunch of production on offense. Byron Brown should start a quarterback after a really solid freshman season for South Florida. Byron Brown had the first 3,000 passing yard season in South Florida history, and he is definitely a leader going forward for this team. The defense will need to see improvement, but the offense is going to be one of the best in the American Conference, so we'll see what South Florida can do next season. But at number 9, I have California. Last season, California made a bowl game for the first time since 2019, and we've seen a lot of great things from California on the offensive side, but their defense was a big problem and they gave up an average of 32 points per game. I really like this team heading into 2024 though. I do feel like they are due to have a breakout season or at least win more than 6 games. This California team will be returning one of the most talented running backs in the whole country, Jaden Ah, and he's only going to get better. They've done a really solid job at bringing in talent from the transfer portal as well. They brought in many talented receivers, and they're returning a bunch of talent on offense. And they are also returning some talent on defense. I don't know if their defense will be great, but I think even with an average defense, they would be able to win 8 or 9 games. I feel like this California team is shaping up to have a very talented offense. They brought in a couple additions on defense from the transfer portal. So we will see if the defense sees improvement. But regardless, I would say California has potential to be a lot better than people expect them to be. And maybe they could finish in the top 5 of the ACC. At number 8, I have Texas Tech. I almost could have replaced them for another Big 12 team like Iowa State or West Virginia. Because of how much production those two teams are returning. But I decided to mix it up a little bit and at number 8 I decided to pick Texas Tech because I do really think if any team out of the Big 12 can shock a lot of people then it is Texas Tech. And I don't think they've been talked about enough. I know they lost a decent amount of talent but the offense is looking very good heading into next season. They were very inconsistent last season but when they play their best game they are a very dangerous team. They have dominated the Big 12 in recruiting and they also brought in 5 star Micah Hudson who should make an impact right away. And they also brought in Josh Kelly from Washington State. Josh Kelly and Micah Hudson could be a very dangerous pair of receivers, and they will be returning more to that quarterback. And on the defensive side, they will be returning Ben Roberts, who leads the team in tackles. They are returning a bunch of their roster on both sides of the ball, but they are rebuilding the team within recruiting and the transfer portal. And they have guys that can step up and fill a role on this team. And they also have some good leaders on this team returning, and if they aren't very good next season, then I'd say 2025 is definitely the year for Texas Tech. But Texas Tech might make an impact as soon as 2024. The offense should be really good, and the defense shouldn't be bad either, because their defense has been slowly improving over the last couple years. So I would say definitely watch out for this Texas Tech team. But at number 7, I have Nebraska. Last season, Nebraska's offense really held them back, and I'm mainly talking about the quarterback spot. But next season will be a refresh for Nebraska football, and they should have 5-star quarterback Dylan Riola starting as a true freshman. The defense is in very good shape, and this team ranks 3rd for returning production in all of college football. This team has a lot of potential going forward. Last season, they went 5-7, and seven, but 5 of those losses were 1 possession games. They also brought in Dante Dowell at running back, and they brought in 2 decent receivers out of the transfer portal to help out that offense. Matt Rule has this team heading in the right direction, and the more research I do on this team, the more high I am on this team. There's going to be some concerns for Dylan Riola starting as a 2 freshman quarterback, but Nebraska needs him at the quarterback position, so we'll see what happens. But at number 6, I have Kansas. Right now, the obvious top four of the Big 12, at least to me, seems like Arizona, Utah, Oklahoma State, and Kansas State. But right outside that top four, you got Kansas looking in. Kansas very well could become one of those top four teams. We truly don't know what will happen, because the Big 12 is very unpredictable heading into 2024. 
But Kansas will have Jalen Daniels back at quarterback to help continue the rise of this Kansas team. He is one of the more underrated quarterbacks in college football. Everybody's talking about Cam Rising returning, which is completely fine. But let's not forget about Jalen Daniels returning for this Kansas team. Kansas is a pretty well coached team, and they're heading in the right direction. I'm personally higher on Kansas State, but Kansas is the team that a lot of people don't have winning the Big 12. But I definitely think they deserve more recognition, and I think they are definitely one of those top contenders for the Big 12 title in 2024. So I decided to put them on this list to give them the recognition that they deserve, because they're definitely a sleeper team in my opinion. But at number 5, I have Miami. And next season is really make or break for Mario Cristobal and this Miami team as a whole because they are going to have one of the most talented rosters in college football. But they have to win games on the field, which has been a huge problem for this talented Miami team the last couple years. In 2024, Miami should definitely be a 10-win team if they actually play good football on the field. They brought in one of the best quarterbacks in college football, Cam Ward, and I truly believe he is one of the best quarterbacks in college football. And the quarterback spot has been a big issue for this Miami team. But I think Cam Ward is the guy that this Miami team needs. I think there's a legitimate chance we see Miami win the ACC in 2024. Are they my favorite to win the ACC? No, they aren't. But I think they should definitely be in that conversation. But this season may just be the last real chance for Mario Cristobal to make an impact at Miami. He's a good recruiter, but it's really time for him to coach on the field. So we'll see what Mario Cristobal can do for this Miami team in 2024. But they might be a team that's being slept on. But at number 4, I have USC. And yes, I know USC had a terrible defense last season, but I highly doubt their defense will be that bad again. And as long as they have an average defense, I think they could be a top 5 Big Ten team. USC signed an elite defensive coaching staff this offseason, and it does seem like Lincoln Riley is finally putting in work to make the defense better. I don't really have a concern on the offensive side because Lincoln Riley always has a good offense, and it looks like he already found his quarterback for next season because Miller Moss balled out against Louisville in USC's bowl game. And it was a great win to get momentum heading into next season. And Miller Moss is definitely going to be that quarterback going forward. USC still has a bunch of talent. And they still do a very good job in recruiting. And let's not forget where this team was two years ago. Because they almost made the playoffs two years ago with the pretty average defense. But last season the defense was atrocious. But like I said, they signed an elite defensive coaching staff. And I think this team is kind of in rebuild mode with the revamped coaching staff. So we'll see what USC does next season. But I do think they will be better for sure. And a coaching staff can make a huge difference. But at number 3, I have Boise State. Boise State was at a point last season where it seemed like they wouldn't have a winning season. Which would be the first time that they wouldn't have a winning season since 1997. But nearing the end of the season, they fired their head coach. And we saw the defensive coordinator, Spencer Danielson, step up and help lead this team to a Mountain West championship. This Boise State defense is shaping out to be very good next season. And they brought in 5-star quarterback Malachi Nelson from USC. And Boise State is always one of those top teams in the group of five. But I think this Boise State team is going to be very good next season with Spencer Danielson, our head coach. I'd say watch out for Boise State playing on the road against Oregon early in the season. Because that could be a game that helps us learn a lot more about this Boise State team. I'm not saying Boise State will win that game. But I think it is a very underrated game. And I think Boise State could possibly keep that game close. And Boise State is actually undefeated against Oregon in football. Boise State is losing a lot of talent on offense, but the offense should be fine with Malachi Nelson and that rushing attack this team has. But the defense is going to be very good, possibly a top 15 defense in the country, and defense wins championships, and Boise State has a very defensive-minded head coach. So I'm very high on this Boise State team to make the 12-team playoffs. But at number 2, I have Virginia Tech. This Virginia Tech team is returning the most amount of talent among any teams in all of college football, and they ended the season beating a decent Tulane team in their bowl game by double digits. If we really want to reach, I'd say there's potential for Virginia Tech to win the ACC. I saw a decent amount of improvement from this Virginia Tech team last season, but now they will have all offseason to get prepared for this 2024 season, and this could really be a breakout season for Virginia Tech. They will be returning Kyron Jones at quarterback, and he is a very mobile quarterback. He only had a completion percentage of 58.2, but he gets the job done, and he's very dangerous with his legs. This offense was really solid last season, but they will be returning just about everybody. And on the defensive side, they brought in two three-star defensive linemen out of the transfer portal, and they could definitely help out that team. Virginia Tech will also be returning their top four wide receivers as well, and this Virginia Tech team has a lot of potential going forward. Virginia Tech finished top five in the ACC last season, and they're returning the most talent in college football, so you would definitely expect them to get better, and they definitely are a team that could be slept on to make the 12-team playoffs. But my final team on this list is Ole Miss. They were number one on my national title Dark Horse Contenders. And they're number one on my sleeper teams as well. And maybe they don't belong on the sleeper teams list, but they're still a team with a very high ceiling and they're a team that could really shock a lot of people. 
They're returning a decent amount of talent on offense, most notably Jackson Dart, who could be a top contender for the Heisman Trophy in 2024. And this Ole Miss team has had a consistently good offense under Lane Kiffin, and I expect the same in 2024. But what makes this team even more scary next season is the fact that they're making huge moves in the transfer portal on the defensive side. They brought in five-star defensive lineman Walter Nolan, and they brought in four four-stars on the defensive side. And those are five new additions on the defense who could make an impact right away. They lost Quinshaw Judkins at running back on the offensive side, so that's a tough loss for this Ole Miss team. But they picked up Logan Diggs from LSU at running back, and running back is one of the easiest positions in college football to replace. If this Ole Miss defense has a top 15 or top 10 defense though, I think they could very well be a natural title contender. Lane Kiffin has this team heading in the right direction, and I'm definitely really high on this Ole Miss team heading into 2024. A good quarterback and a good defense can make a huge difference, and Ole Miss should be a lot better on the defensive side, and Jackson Dart is going to be fun to watch. So we'll see what Ole Miss does in 2024. But anyways, that's going to do it for my 10 sleeper teams heading into 2024. Let me remind you guys to like the video, and also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. And if you guys love college football, then you will love this channel because we upload daily college football content. And we basically cover everything on this channel, so definitely consider subscribing. And also consider joining my Discord server down in the description below. But that's going to do it, guys, and peace out.